I'm Kaelmic. And I'm what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? And this is Team Time Travel. On today's episode of Let's Play Portal 2. Hey guys, it's Kelmic. And today we're gonna play one of my favorite games that I was only introduced to last month by What's Your Name. But you know, exciting, right? And it's none other than Portal 2. So we shall start. I will tell you that most of this is actually, uh, uh, well, it's good voice acting, so I'm just gonna let the cinematics talk. And now we have been greeted by GLaDOS. It's your eyeball. Anyway, I'm just gonna let these people do the talking and inject a little bit. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Oh, nice. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. What's a ceiling? Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. I can't see my Good. feet. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Painting? Ooh. This art. is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, nope. stare at the art. Look away. Oh. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. So nice. Good. Now please return to your bed. Alright, quick rundown. Obviously, look around with your mouse. Move around with the WASD keys. Yeah, you all should know this. And, you know, look around, blah, blah, blah. And E is your primary button for interacting with things as they show you in this bed. So, now I think we're gonna go ahead and take a nap. Sleepy time. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This call Hello? Is Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test? Ah! Oh, God, God. You look te um, Jerk. good. Looking good, actually. Oh, are you okay? Are, are you. Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. Stay calm. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, oh thank you. You might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Ah, my corner. Turn there soon. You alright down there? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Yes. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. All right. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Uh, no. I don't feel like it. Uh, yeah, let's speak. Go ahead. Okay, what you're what? doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you what? just jumped. Uh, but never mind. What? Say apple. Uh, apple. Bananas. Kumquats. Kiwi. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How hot? How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? We've got enough space. Just, just gotta get through here. Fail. 
I, I just can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Vegetables? Alright, oh, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. Yeah, I mean. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Alive, got it. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Alright. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. This is how we these last problems. Almost there. Games. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least... Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science Toilet. can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. It's a clipboard. I've always wanted a clipboard. So yeah, as you can see, I'm holding a floating thing in the air. Yeah. I am tele telepathic, didn't you know? Okay, moving on. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Now? Okay, let's move on. Eh. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. It's a cube! If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. It's a cube. Obviously, they're used for pressing buttons. Cubes are your friend. Don't forget that. So, we'll drop the cube, like this. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Alrighty, so we're moving on to the first test chamber. Exciting. Let's go. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. Uh, okay. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Number one. Not that exciting. Got buttons. Let's press those dang buttons, shall we? Alright. Um. Yeah. It's a nice sign. I was admiring the sign. So, pretty simple, you know, press the button, you create the portal, so let's press the first button. And we get the cube! You got the cube! Ah, I feel terrible now. Anyway, there's the button, so let's press that button, and we go through the portal again. Fun stuff, you know, this is like mind-boggling. And then we open the door, so, so guess what? G g g guess what? We press another button, and we go through another portal. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Alright, so... Well, we're almost out of time here, so... On the next episode of Portal 2, we will, um, continue with Test Chamber If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. Here's the sign. And thanks, everybody. We'll see you next episode on Wizard.
Wednesday.